Okay, POV. Ready? You're a bird. Not like a British bird, not like a bird. Like a bird. Like a real bird. I'm also a bird. And we're sitting in a forest, in a tree, together. And we're talking to each other in our bird language. Okay? You good? <laughs> Pretty good, right? Did I take you there? Were you there? I was certainly there. I was fully there. I was present. All right, let's take another. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. All right. Uh, P O V. You are a. You are a. You're a microphone. And I am the singer, the lead singer of a thrash metal band. Okay. Ready. All right, cool. That felt good. Uh, now that we've done that warm-up exercise, let's uh, dive into the world of TikTok POVs once again, because it's gotten a lot weirder since we last looked at it. Why don't we just, let's just jump right into the first one that I found, just so you get a sense of what I'm talking about. Wow. POV, we get into an argument which turns physical and then you stop breathing. Holy fuck. What an adorable little domestic abuse slash murder hypothetical that this child has set up for us to be the victim of. <laughs> that was, that was great. I've always wondered what it felt like to uh, get strangled to death by my significant other. And now we know. How is he expecting us to watch this? Like, oh, POV, this Yeah. yeah. So funny that this kid wrote this scenario for himself. <laughs> like it's one thing to like walk into an audition room and do this scene that someone else wrote for you. But is it not like a little weird to, to write yourself as the dude who kills his girlfriend? Why did she have to die even? Why did she stop breathing entirely? Why couldn't she have just like passed out? He was like, nope, she's gotta die. Let's raise the stakes. Maybe he was brainstorming TikToks in his room. Like he was like, all right, POV, no, the bird one, that's not gonna work. And then she walked in and she was like, she interrupted him and he was like, I'm trying to figure out what TikToks to do. Well, now I know. All right, let's check on the next one. POV, a jealous BF crashes the party. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna kill her too? Let's see. Yup. <laughs> oh, he did. What are these? Why are kids pretending to shoot up parties? That's fucked up. And this has 1.9 million likes. The best part is, is someone had to go opposite him and flash him with a light three times as he pretended to shoot them to get that effect. That's like the TikTok equivalent of being the fluffer. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see the next one. POV, your psycho ex breaks into your house, but you are faster than he is. Oh, so this maybe is the other side. Oh, forgot the flashlight, homie. Doesn't really, I don't, I wasn't, didn't, did, I wasn't there, you know? Forgot the flashlight. A little bit less believable, dude. Why do they all seem to not understand the concept of point of view? We're supposed to be the main character in these. These are for us. That's why Tyler Brash nails it because he looks right into the camera and he hits on you. And the first one here, the, the little strangle one, it's supposed to be us in this dispute with him, but the camera is like off to the side looking up. So it feels like we're like a third person in the room just watching this happen. <laughs> just like <laughs> some dude in the back like, Hey Garrett, uh, you, why don't you ease up on the tension a little bit, bud? She's, she's turning purple. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think she can. What? Wait, is she, is she dead? <laughs> what are we gonna do, Garrett? Now I'll never get into college. I'm the accessory to a murder. I need some consistencies in these stories for me to believe them, God damn it! Come on, people! POV, it's your first day in school and you meet the school's bad boy for the first time while he's in a fight. 
Hashtag POV, hashtag acting. Oh, the bad boy, huh? I mean, he's got to be a bad boy with one of these dangly little earrings in. <laughs> he must be one. You know, we all know how much bad boys throughout history have, have fucked with dangly earrings. Nah, ugh. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> that gives me the, the, the look the look up down like that. That just gives me the worst fucking feeling. Every time some person on TikTok does that, the fucking I just I just feel like I got tased or something. I feel like I need a can of pepper spray when I'm watching this. Just, ah, <laughs> that was a full 15 seconds of this shit. And then this. What what's the other guy in the fight doing? Just waiting there like What are you doing? Hello? We're in a fight, dude. I'm um, today, please, dude. I'm trying to punch you. I'm trying to punch you, Nathan. Come on. Let's just run back that. No, no. No. Okay, this next one. POV. You watch as a young man commits crimes, not knowing he'd grow up to be the Joker. <laughs> hashtag POV, hashtag acting. Again, again, he somehow found time to still catcall us with his eye <laughs> in the middle of a shooting rampage. Okay, the story here is that he's, he's the Joker. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Let's bring up a let's bring up a picture of Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, so this is Joaquin Phoenix in the Joker. And this is this dude. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of similarities. Yeah, the dangly earring, the sleeve tattoo. They both have that in common. <laughs> hey, what's up, Emily? Number six. Number six. You chose B. Um, let me see if I can help you. Yeah, of course. Anyway, you doing anything fun this weekend? Oh, you can go back to your test. Yeah, of course. Finish it up. Finish it up. All right. This dude might actually be the Joker. I could see that. What was he on? Coke or something? What were those faces? Just fucking... Hi, Emily. Yeah, it's C. Let me see that ass. Also, how creepy is this dude? Not only is he just super creepy, but the caption is when you ask the teacher who has a crush on you low key, ew. Ew! Ugh, what are you doing this weekend? Emily! A coked up teacher just macking on a student in, a, in the middle of a test. Ugh. 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 All right, let's move on. Okay, here we go. A little bit of a different POV here. Uh, this is a parent-child POV. POV, you are my teenage daughter, and you just told me you're pregnant. You're pregnant. Hashtag just a kid. Hashtag teenage pregnancy. Damn, that's a crazy hashtag. Hashtag parent. Hashtag advice, and then hashtag for you page. You're pregnant? <coughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, let's let's respect the drip a little bit here. This is a, he's a drip dad. He's a drip dad. He's got the Under Armour shirt, distressed jeans, sneaker game, football going on in the back. He looks like he's about to get bottle service at his kid's soccer match. <laughs> also, I love how like little he reacted to the fact that we're pregnant. He went like this. Okay, okay, like what? One, it took you one second? It's like you took a hit out of a joint or something. He just went, <laughs> okay, well, here's what you do. That's all right, thank you for coming and telling me though. I appreciate that, because I've always told you from day one, there's nothing that you can't tell me that we can't get through. I love you, I love you no matter what. I'll be here for you from day one until I'm gone from this earth for you and that baby. And hey, there's gonna be a lot of people that say a lot of mean and cruel things about you, about me, about our whole family. But that's okay. I don't want you to worry about that. We got one person to answer to in this life, and that's God. So just know, I'm here for you guys. And lastly, hey, call Daddy up. Uh, no, I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Bring him over here. Let's sit down. Let's talk this out. Let's get a plan, because I'm here for you guys. I love you, baby girl. 
Aww. That melted my heart. This was so weird, dude. What's the point of this video? Is this just for people with daddy issues to like feel jealous or something? Also, why are they so far away from each other? <laughs> you'd think like for a conversation this serious that you'd wanna be like sitting down and not like across the room from each other. Okay, here we go. He's got another one. POV, you're my son and you just got a girl pregnant. All right, let's see what's up. You got a girl pregnant, boy. All right, look, thanks for coming and telling me, but here's a few things. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy takes no time to digest anything. He's the most prepared dad in the entire world. He's ready for any situation, no matter what you throw at him. He's already thought about it and he knows what he's gonna say already. That's why he doesn't need to fucking react. Hey dad, I dropped out of college. Boy, get a job. Hey dad. I got herpes. Boy, stop having sex. Hey dad, I got, I'm going to jail for insurance fraud. Boy, we gonna bust you out. Boy, 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 boy. All right, look, thanks for coming and telling me, but here's a few things. Y'all gotta figure out if you're gonna be in a relationship or if y'all are just gonna co-parent this, but either way, you're gonna be together through this whole thing. You're gonna find out that you're gonna have to go get a job. You need a job now. So it's time to man up and we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna be with you the entire way. I got you. Love you, buddy. That's the coronavirus hug right there. You just gotta go, hey, I love you. This guy's the best dad ever. Oh, he's so good. Such a good dad. Hey dad, I got addicted to paint thinner. Boy. Try and make a deal with the son of the devil thug. What is the devil thug? What even is that? These are weird. These are really weird. Some of them actually are, I found I found some that are actually really, really creative. Like some of them, people people are like, I creating, like look at this one. Happy birthday dear Haley. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Haley. Have a great day hon, we love you. Come on. That is horrifying. I feel like I just watched a horror film. It's a 15 second horror movie right there. That is petrifying. This fucked me up, honestly. I watched that for the first time and then like an hour later I was showering and all I could hear is Happy birthday, dear Cody. POV, the world has been taken over by people's worst fears. Before it was small places and now it's spiders. Ugh. Although I feel like, you know, now nowadays spiders wouldn't be too bad compared to what <laughs> what we got going on right now. All right, that's it. I just wanted to show you some good POVs from the last couple months on TikTok just so you know that those exist and they're real. And um, the thing is, I thought what better I was going to make up my own POV again like we did in the last video. Um, but I thought I thought I don't think I don't think I'm the right person for this right now. I think why don't I get the king? to make one for us to end this video. And he he just sent it to me, so here it is. <laughs> I don't know why that spit is so funny, but it was like so Hey. Like oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I know this, is that, it? Is that Cody Co's video of him reacting to my POVs? Do you know how insecure that video made me feel? Aside from all that, I came here to tell you face to face that I, I like you. And I couldn't tell you at school because of the coronavirus, so Emily gave me her address. But screw me, right? The weird, disgusting, making POV guy. But one day you're gonna want me after I win an Oscar. <coughs> Pizza Hut. Papa John's. Remember, my life's a POV, baby. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye.